Hi all, we are going to talk about the tick entry today. Actually, tick entry is the um, when we talk about the GUI applications in Python, then tick entry is useful for making the GUI applications and it pro provides a powerful library to make the GUI application. So, whenever we want a fast and easy way to create the GUI applications, we can make use of tkinter. Uh, so, we are going to talk about the tkinter today. And the other thing is, we are going to write down the program for the registration form, uh, which would talk about uh, the various fields which would be taken by using various widgets in tkinter under Python and Python 3 I will be using. And uh, we are going to write down the program and we are going to uh, submit the details onto that particular form and they will get stored into uh, the mysql table so that is the idea behind it okay so we will talk about this tkinter import star so tkinter is a library we are going to make use of ttk also because we are going to make use of combo box or the box we are going to make use of mysql so pymysql.cursors I suppose you all must be knowing how to install PyMySQL. So if suppose you don't know, you can see, uh, you can watch my one of the video. Even you can ins you can find it out whether the PyMySQL has been installed from here. So obviously you will have to install pip install. I have told you in one of the video about pip. So pip install PyMySQL. So you'll have to give it like this. I have already installed my PyMySQL. So this will, obviously it will, it is there is there is no need to ins uh, install it again but yes we can do it by using pip install so it's possible after that uh, i'm using this date time because i want to make use of the date then root equal to, to tk so tk is the function which has been used uh, in addition to that there is a geometry which i'm using 500 by 500 because i want to execute that particular form okay so when we when we try to execute this uh, we will get it something like this. If suppose I execute it, you can see here the window has been created with the registration form as a title. So we can get it here. Okay, under the registration form, I want to uh, give the various widgets. Uh, something like uh, I want to give a label, I want to give an entry. Entry is nothing but text box in Ticketer. Uh, so I would like to give it over here. So this would be first one, which I am giving as a label, which is talking about the registration form for the course, which would be taken up. Here you can see that this particular label, label zero, label is the function which has been given on this particular route. So on this particular route, I am going to give text equal registration form for course, width equal to 30, font equal to bold, etc. And then it is given in this manner up to 20, the font size is 20. In the same manner, where do I want to place it? So that is the grid manager. So place uh, and then grid and uh, such, such type of grid managers are used. Placeholders are used. So x equal to 90 and y equal to 53. I want to take the full name and then I want to take the gender. I want to take the say um, which course he wants to go for. So I'm going to give these different labels one by one. Okay, so I would like to execute the same and then I will have to show it to you how does the output look like. So once I'll show you now and then later on I'll show you directly the final output. You can see here that registration for, uh, form for course which is the title which has been given. In addition to that the full name. But I have not given the entry for the same. So I'll have to give the code for the entry. Okay, I'll write down the remaining code now. So you can see here the uh, label and entry from where I'm going to take the value. So full name. Obviously, I'm going to store it into the full name as the in the table in the same manner email. I'm going to take the value for the email from the user. So entry. I told you that I'm going to make use of gender. So gender. Okay. And uh, in this manner, the values for the full name, the email and the gender would be taken from the user. One by one. I suppose you all of know, all of you know that whenever we are taking the gender, then obviously it would be taken it as either male or female. So Obviously, I'll have to look, look into what can be taken, whether the male or female. So I'll have to take the two particular values, uh, male or female. 
and then i'll have to place them accordingly how do i want to put it i'll tell you about this value one and value two as the time comes it will take some time because i'll have to tell you about the various the classes which are used onto the tkinter for the variable classes they are known as the uh, string var int var etc i'll tell you about the same in the same manner here uh, we are going to talk about the other other fields whichever are there so other widgets which i am giving over here you can see those widgets are nothing but uh, the which course i want to take up for which course i want the user to take it up so that particular course has been given over here uh, and it has been given in the list so this particular course would be in uh, uh, text uh, with the label and the courses can be given in the list one i want the user to uh, take up the correct course so obviously this particular value has been taken and drop list equal to option menu it is uh, that particular list has been given onto root uh, my course c that c i will let you know what is it and point and this a star list to one because i want those uh, names the course names to be shown in one after another manner obviously drop list dot config equal to width 15 and i i want the user to select the course and i want the drop list to be printed somewhere at some point of time so x equal to 240 and y equal to 280 okay now the program has been done till now my gui is ready uh, but my GUI won't run at this moment because I have not given this full name from where it is it coming because it is going to give me an error for the full name over here, email over here. The, the meaning behind it is this full name has been has come has is been coming from uh, my table. This email is coming coming from my table. Gender would be coming from my table. So I'll have to give give it properly. So for that I'll have to give the uh, variable classes which I told you earlier, and that would be nothing but full name equal to string var. They are the variable classes uh, or methods which are used onto tkinter to get the value from the user and store it onto the data onto the database or into the database with the database connectivity, which I am going to make use with respect to PyMySQL uh, with respect to MySQL. So email equal to string var, g equal to int var has been taken because I want to give the value for uh, the gender as male or female, so it can be one or two. So obviously it was not it will it will not run with string var. So I have given it as int var and c equal to string var. That is the course and this particular c I have used it over here. You can see it over here. This is the c. Okay. So I suppose it must be clear to you all why this c has been used and c is my uh, course which has been. Okay. Now I am going to make use of the database because my tkinter is ready. That is GUI ready with pi widgets. I have given my variables properly. Uh, I have given the window of uh, tkinter. So obviously I'll have to look into the database. So this particular database has been used something like this. I have called this database function with the pymysql.connect. My local host is on, I'm running on the same machine. So it is local host. If you are running it with respect to some other one server and the other client, then IP address has to be given the username and the password and then the database name so please keep it in mind the syntax of this pymysql.connect and then i want to connect it with respect to uh, this particular local host username password and database name uh, here you can see that cursor equal to db.cursor because i'll have to uh, declare the cursor in such a way that this cursor would be a, a temporary area where all the records will be stored for some time then when equal to full, full name dot get i'll have to take the values from the user so full name, email, gender, course, I'll have to take it from the user, what, what the user wants to give, what name, what email, what gender, what course. So accordingly it will be given. Once it is done, it will be stored into the table. So here I have assumed that uh, I'm going to create a particular table student six and uh, which will have uh, the full name, uh, email, uh, then uh, gender and the course. Okay. So if not exist, create it. So execute, I'll have to execute that particular query. So execute SQL. I, I have given this particular message. Just I just wanted to find out whether it is running properly or not. And then finally here I have given uh, the values for the name because what are the values I'm going to put them from the particular form, okay? I want them to be entered into the database. So please keep it in mind. It will not run because without this. So please give it as slash double quotes percent s slash 
so this particular slash is nothing but a type of uh, identifier which has been used execute this particular query sql1 i have given this particular statement inserted and then commit because i want to save save it okay when i execute the program i come to know something like this i can give here give here the full name say madhvi okay i can give it as say i don't know how many uh, characters i have given obviously i can select something male or female and then data science and it would get executed but yet it is not taking the value from the user because it is not storing the value anywhere because i have not used any type of button so to use the particular button is talking this particular button is talking about the submit button which i want to show you uh, which has not been shown in the previous output uh what is the width what is the background and the foreground we can give it command equal to database command equal to database is nothing but this particular function will be get, will get executed so this is def database this function has been called which would be executed over here dot place where do i want to show that particular button will be shown and then finally i want to close my program so root dot main loop uh function which has been used over here let's execute this particular program you can see here now the button has also been shown now i can enter the correct values say what course i want to take it say augmented reality and then submit you can see here the output has table created and inserted means the values have got have been gone inside it. you can see here i have entered the values full name as email, email gender as two it has taken as female and augmented reality we will try to work on it why it is taking two okay fine in this manner we can uh, understand how to execute the uh, tick inter program by using database connectivity and we were able to find it out by the way i am getting this error because uh, my this student six already exist so it is giving me an error that it is adding the records again and again so uh, if you like it uh, if you watch it and if you like it do subscribe to my channel i'll get back to uh, youtube video again with the new channel with the new program on the data and time how to store the data and time in the database by using ticket database connectivity thank you very much